Hey y'all, today we are going to be starting a brand new series on the channel, which is Sunday Style Inspo. This has been a long time coming, so you are in for a treat. So welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brittany. And if this is your first time stumbling across one of my videos, I do focus on fashion, beauty, luxury, lifestyle, fragrances, pretty much whatever else I feel like talking about. So if that seems like something that you may be interested in, go ahead and click on that subscribe button if you enjoy the content, of course. Also, if you're already a subscriber, go ahead and click on that notification bell so that you do not miss an upload from me. Okay, so if you've been following me on all platforms like my Instagram and this YouTube channel, you would know that I used to do Sunday Style Inspo every single Sunday and it was a huge Hit. I really enjoy talking about fashion with you guys and I've been thinking about a way to bring this onto the channel and I figured what better time to do it than the start of the new year. So Sunday Style Inspo is going to encompass all things fashion, okay? We are going to be breaking down trends. We're gonna be talking about celebrities, different outfits, how to style things, all the things, okay? And this series is definitely going to be interactive, so I'm gonna need your help. At the end of every video, I want you to tell me in the comment section what you would like for me to feature on the next Sunday Style Inspo. It can be a fashion trend, we can talk about a celebrity style, whatever have you, okay? Or just some looks that you guys have been loving and you want me to kind of break down or tell you, you know, information about them and how I would style, all the things, okay? So today I figured we need to start off with someone who has really been having the fashion girls buzzing and that is Fantasia Barino, okay? Fantasia, if you don't know, she is a singer. And listen, Fantasia has been killing it on the press tour for the color purple. And I want to talk about this for a second before we get into the looks, okay? First of all, I've always loved Fantasia. I think Fantasia always looks nice, but in this season, she has been elevated and whatever she has coming next, I will definitely be having my eyes open because she is making a huge statement right now. And I love the way that they're doing this, okay? So I really feel like the styling has been so genius because it's such a just exposition of the character that she's playing in the color purple, which is Seely, okay? So if you don't know, her stylist is Daniel Hawkins and he goes by 1800D Hawk. Now I followed him for a very long time, I think around 2017-ish on Instagram, and I love his styling, okay? He is known for styling the likes of Laura Govan, um, Marlo Hampton, and so many others, but lately he has been styling Fantasia, and he has been killing it. I feel like this is like the perfect marriage when it comes to styling and like the celebrity, okay? He's been killing it, and Fantasia does not look like she's wearing a costume. She's really embodying all of the styles, so we're definitely gonna break this down, y'all. I'm loving this run that she's on right now, and she has everybody talking, okay, about her fashion, so let's get into it. Now, Daniel has been styling Fantasia for a while, but he's definitely stepped up his game in this color purple season and I love that for him and her. Now the first look that caught my eye was when she did the Power of Women cover shoot for Variety magazine. Y'all, this look is everything. First of all, I live for men's wear inspired look and this is done so well. So she's basically wearing a white tuxedo jacket with black lapels and a vest um, with black buttons, killing it. And these pieces are by Dolce & Gabbana and she has been living in Dolce & Gabbana during this press run. So maybe she's sponsored by them or you know they're offering things, whatever it is, it's amazing because Dolce & Gabbana to me sometimes can lean a little bit gaudy, but they have been killing it with Fantasia this season. So I love the fact that this exudes power, of course, power of women issue. It's the perfect look, but she still looks extremely feminine and beautiful on top of that. And I like the way that they've done the hair as well. You guys know Fantasia wears her hair short, but they pulled it off of her face a bit to give a little bit more of that menswear inspired look. And I like the subtle jewelry, but while all of that is still very like, you know, powerful and I guess androgynous in a way, 
the makeup is so clean, so chic and beautiful that it does not take away from like the femininity of the look. I'm absolutely loving this. And this was like the first thing that caught my eye when I was like, wow, Fantasia is killing it. She looks amazing. Now, the next look that caught my eye by Fantasia, and I think this is the one that took everyone by storm, was the Sergio Hudson look. So she's wearing a black dress and then she has on this Sergio Hudson cropped blazer. It's like a neon yellow with black trim. It's giving a lady, okay? It's a lady blazer, if you will. And I love the black detailing. It adds a little bit of edge, but the cut is very classic, almost giving like Chanel-esque vibes. But I love the way that Daniel made this super modern by adding the belt. Now, a lot of us would probably steer away from a belt because it's almost giving old school, but I feel like this really made it for Fantasia. Fantasia's build, like she is, you know, thick as grits, honey. In the Best way possible and I really love the way that that belt cinches in her waist but it doesn't cheapen the look and I love that and they kept this look pretty matchy matchy just with the neon blazer um, neon belt and then they added a pair of Christian Louboutin um, pumps now I'm not sure about these pumps because on the photos the pumps look regular yellow like a canary yellow and then the blazer obviously looks a little bit neon green but it could just be the lighting if it's a full like you know black and neon look top 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 tier um otherwise i would have probably done like a black patent leather pump and kept it cute now as she was walking out of this building she has on these really fun like circle um dark black sunglasses and i like that touch because it just adds a little bit of that fashion girl to an otherwise very classic, you know, look. This was done really, really well. And I am just, I love it. And I also saw this blazer on Sha'Carri, which she done it really well too. She's younger than Fantasia, so she did the full look. It looked really cute on her, but Fantasia is definitely giving boss woman and just, it's top tier, okay? Like everything about her styling this season is just have, it has me salivating. <laughs> Okay, so this next look, another one that had our mouths on the floor, okay, is the look that she wore to the London premiere for the color purple. Y'all, Fantasia was giving elegant, eleganza, she was giving regal, yet sexy. And again, I love what they're doing with these looks because the character Seely is such a rough, kind of like worn down character. But Fantasia is letting you know I'm doing my good acting, honey, but don't get it twisted, okay? And I love that for her. Like, I live, this is so genius to me. I love the styling. So with this, and for the premiere, she's wearing this Christian Siriano dress that is draped so beautifully on her body. It is a bardo type of neckline, and then it also has this drape detailing that is so regal that crosses the body. The draping on this is perfect. It, it doesn't take away from her curves. It actually adds to her curves. And I just love, again, how modern this is while still being very elegant and sexy. And that's so my vibe. Anything that's like fully covered but still gives that sex appeal, I'm here for it. So she killed it with this. And for the clutch, she has just a plain gold clutch by Alex Batar. When I first saw this clutch, I had to look it up, y'all. I was like, where is this clutch from? It's super cute. And they did a beautiful updated chandelier earring. Um, it's like just gold ornate earrings, but they are hanging down like the old school chandelier earrings. Gorgeous. These are by Alex Batar as well, or Alexis Batar. Accessories are very minimal, but these earrings are doing all the talking. And I like that it's more of an ornate, just gold piece of um, jewelry instead of like, you know, the jewels and all that, that used to be the uh, chandelier earrings that we used to wear like in the early 2000s. And then they added a touch of purple on the eyes. When I tell you everything is thought out, okay, the budget is there. Everything is thought out because the purple eyeshadow color purple. It's giving gorgeous. And then the hair is pulled back again. So she does have on like a very feminine dress. And I guess they wanted to add a little bit of edge by taking the hair off the face, which I can definitely appreciate. I definitely believe in getting dressed from head to so I bet she smells good too. You know, she just looks phenomenal. Now you can't see the shoes in this one and the shoes don't even matter because the dress is doing all the talking along with this body, okay? <laughs> so we move. Okay y'all, so this next look, let me just say, 
I was on the fence about it. Um, I was not overjoyed with it, but it was nice to see Fantasia in a different look than I think that she would have ever put on herself. You can definitely tell this was a styled look for Fantasia. Um, and it's definitely giving like fall vibes. You know, it's, it's cute. I probably would have tweaked a couple of things, okay? So she is wearing a Sergio Hudson blazer dress. I love the colors in this. It's a double-breasted blazer dress wool, and I am loving the purple. It has some teals, black base. Love this, okay? I love a blazer dress. It cinches her in so nicely. And then she has on a pair of Dolce & Gabbana platform heels and I feel like that was an excellent touch. It's giving kind of schoolgirl but yet elevated. Still very grown woman, classy, um, but still fun because of the colors. And this was a daytime look so I think it's very appropriate. Now here's where it gets tricky for me. She has on a pair of royal blue tights and I know that colored tights are really on trend right now. I'm loving like the burgundy tights and everything. But these Crayola colors, like the, you know, red, primary red, primary blue, uh, I'm on the fence about it, okay? I may just be not on the train yet, and that's fine. But she did this royal, like, electric blue tight, and then she has a headband on. And the headband, again, it does not match, but it does pull from the blazer, and I just feel like, hmm... Should we have x the headband if we were gonna go colored tights? I like the headband. You know I like a headband um, for daytime especially, but I'm not sure if I would have done both. I feel like if I did the headband, I probably would have done maybe a purple tight or a black tight um, or just like no headband and do the color tights. Let me know what y'all think about this one though, okay? Let me know what y'all think about this look. I really like it. I like the concept of it and she's carrying a Chanel bag. So it's, you know, just updated, clueless, very grown woman, but still fun, classic, and chic. Baby, now this next look, she drugged me, okay? She drugged me by my edges with this next look because this is a full Dolce & Gabbana look and it is spectacular. She looks stunning in this look. Fantasia girl. The, the tailoring, the body, just everything about this. Okay, we gotta break this down from literal head to toe. So like I mentioned, this is a full Dolce & Gabbana look. Now she has on this long line black blazer and it is cinched so perfectly. It is an elegant hourglass blazer, like similar to the ones from Balenciaga. Those lean a little bit more, you know, edgy, sporty. This one is giving like, I am the boss. I sit at the head of the table, um, director's you know, table, all the things. Love this, but it's still sexy as well. And then she has on this beautiful bra underneath. It just gives a little bit of detailing so that she does not have to wear a full top under. Love that. And then they topped it off with like this satin shiny skirt. I, I want to say it's satin, okay? Um, I need to look this up. I think it is satin because she also has on the gloves and the satin gloves are gorgeous. And I like these satin gloves because they're a little oversized in the sleeve area. They're not tight satin gloves. So they go over the uh, jacket sleeves. Very, very, very good. To me, it adds a little bit of edge and it takes it down from being so stuffy and like dated. This look is everything, okay? It's so good. They also have the Dolce & Gabbana charm bracelets kind of stacked up on the uh, gloves. And I think that's an elegant touch. It again, leans a little bit old Hollywood glamour, but very updated. Oh my gosh, y'all. I just can't deal. And then for the shoes, I think they wanted to keep the line, you know, very clean and long. So she has on like a clear shoe. And I want to say these clear pumps are from Jessica Rich if I'm not mistaken, but don't quote me. I like the fact that they kept it clean. And I also think that it brings it more to a young kind of, you know, area of the look. Because if you was to do, you know, a black pump, of, I think it would still be sexy. It wouldn't take away from the look. But I think he was, he thought this out properly. You know what I'm saying? Just to make it very youthful. And I love that. Now let's get into this hair, okay? Fantasia is giving madam, okay, with this hair. I love a little curl on the forehead, okay? I love that look. Even if you have longer hair, you can pull your hair back in a ponytail and do that little curl. That's chef's kiss to me. It just lets me know 
that the girl is all about the details. You know what I'm saying? When I see the girls doing that, I'm like, oh, she thinks of the details. So love the hair on this. And because this look is almost suited and booted, I feel like the hair is very sexy along with that uh, neckline with the bra. This is just so well thought out. All black is always going to be a favorite of mine. She looks scrumptious in this look. Okay. Like 10, 10, 10s across the board. Okay. Y'all know this next look has my name written all over it. Okay. This is a full Dolce and Gabbana look as well. And this is the look that I was like, okay, now I'm starting to look up the pieces because I need to add them to my wardrobe. Okay. Because she killed this look. Okay. It, it's nasty. It's real disrespectful the way this look is. So she has on this Dolce & Gabbana corset style dress. I don't know if it's faux leather or just satin. You know, Dolce & Gabbana is known for like this style of dress, this corseting. Very, very, very good. I love that it's brown and not black. It just it's so good. Okay. And then she did something that I would totally do, which is add a white collared button down poplin shirt underneath. Listen, that's a bit of me. The reason why I always do this is because I have a larger bust. So a lot of the times I don't want to wear a strapless bra with things. So I just kind of add a little something to it and it just gives it style automatically. So I really love the fact that they added this button down. It also makes this dress more daytime appropriate because if I'm not mistaken, she was doing daytime press, you know, and I think that that is just genius but then also adding the tie the tie was hugely on trend huge on the catwalk um in 2023 and i love that they incorporated that and this seems to be a leather tie it is so good this look is curated so perfectly it is perfect from head to toe and then on the shoe o m g these dolce and gabbana stocking type boots they did a thing with that, okay? They did a thing with that. These come in black and they come in nude and I live for how this looks. It is giving almost burlesque in a way, but still very like, you know, appropriate, elegant. It's not leaning cheap. It's not leaning um, trashy at all. Everything about this, again, perfectly curated. Love this look on Fantasia. She looks phenomenal. I also love the added touch of the leather gloves, a little bit of dominatrix in there. And then she has on this gorgeous Dolce & Gabbana coat with the satin lapel. It gives like a long tuxedo coat. Very good. Okay. So much so that I ended up buying a coat from Banana Republic that gave like this hourglass kind of dressed up feel. And I can't wait to get that in the mail. But this coat is so good on this look. And I like the fact that she was able to wear it over her shoulder. But then she also has a photo where she actually has the coat on and it still looks amazing. Sometimes like looks only look good when you have the coat, you know, over the shoulder. But this one actually looks good both ways. So just very good. Okay, Daniel, you're doing your thing. You are doing your big one. Now, another detail that I noticed about this look, y'all, is the freeze curls. I love the fact that Fantasia just took it right on back to the freeze curls. Okay, she has her hair fully curled. Now, if you know anything about you know, being at the salon or shortcuts, they used to leave those freeze curls in. That was like the style. I like the fact that she just let y'all know that I'm an around the way girl, okay? It's still giving Tasia. <laughs> now that look was in NYC and it couldn't be more perfect. The next look is in NYC as well. Not sure exactly where she was, but she has on a full Dolce and Gabbana cat suit. It's in this leopard or cheetah. I don't know the difference. Um, and you know what? It's not my favorite. Um, I don't love this, but she looks phenomenal in this. Um, cat suits can be tricky. And I will say she doesn't look cheap in this. Sometimes cat suits can look cheap or just inappropriate, especially when you're a little thicker um, and you have body. You know what? She does not look cheap in this. She actually looks really good and her body is snatched. Um, I think it's the shoe for me. So she did the Dolce & Gabbana boots again, um, but these are the nude. And I get wanting to keep it bright and lively and not make it too sexy with black, but I just feel like this nude is like not her nude and it just, it throws it off to me. But I guess it does kind of pull some of the lighter tones in the catsuit. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it. She also did this first stole on top 
you know, a nice little cover up, something to add a little bit more texture to the look, if you will. I'm not mad at it. She still looks phenomenal, but this is definitely not a look that just had me on the floor. I was just like, okay, Tasia, you know, keep it going, sis, keep it going. Oh, but we do come to the next look, which had my mouth on the floor again. So this was Los Angeles. And y'all, this dress is gorgeous. Like this is my type of wedding dress, if you will. So this is a white drapey gathered dress, but it has structure. Like, I mean, a match made in heaven, especially for a thicker girl. When you need the, you need like everything to feel very tailored and perfectly fit to the body. This dress does that. It is so good. I can tell that it has like some, some type of um, corsety detailing because it holds its shape. It's almost given Mugler. Um, and I love this so much. I can't pronounce the name of the designer, but if I remember, I'll put it across the screen for you guys. Love the neckline on this. You know what the neckline reminds me of? It reminds me of the Vivian Westwood dress that Carrie Bradshaw wore for the wedding. Okay. When big upset us all. Okay. I don't even like to talk about it because I get so upset about it. But that neckline definitely reminds me of uh, the dress because of the points, you know, and I really like that artsy kind of detail when it comes to an otherwise basic sweetheart neckline. So it nips her in at the waist perfectly. It's almost giving like a chiffon or something like that over this corset detailing. But I also love the fact that they pulled this lace train. It's kind of like a little, you know, something that makes it a uh, floor length. It's just a delicate lace. And the just exposition between the lace and that like hard kind of corset, phenomenal. Chef's kiss, okay? She looks freaking amazing. And the shoes are Dolce & Gabbana. They're just a barely there white sandal, not taking away from the dress. Everything about this look is very minimal, but it's sexy. It still makes a statement and it's just everything. Okay. She's killing it. I can't. The hair on this is good too. I feel like the hair gives a little bit of edge because she has it styled with like these little points, if you will, and like a nice sideburn that's straight. I like that. I like the way they did that because the dress is given like very, um, you know, feminine vibes. So you just add a little bit of edge where you can. I love anything that's just, it shows, you know, the creativity and it also just shows how carefully curated every single look is. Makeup, phenomenal. I mean, can't say enough about just this look in general. She looks fantastic in this. Okay, y'all, so this next look, this is when I had to say, you know what? she's not taking her foot off of our necks. Okay, because this Dolce & Gabbana dress, mm, it's almost like it was made for her. It could be custom, I don't know. But this is Dolce & Gabbana and it has like this feather crown detailing surrounding her head. With feathers, actual like fluffy furry feathers around the neck. You would think that would be too much. I don't know how they were able to make this work, but it works. This lattice print detailing that gives texture on this dress is like a midi length dress or almost to the ankle. Love that length. It's a T length, I think is what they call it. And then I just love like that it's see-through on the arm. So it gives a little bit of sex appeal, a little bit of edge. Um, and, you know, the bodice is fully covered very good but let's let's get into this feather detailing because you would think that that would be too much but she doesn't look like she's stuffed in it it's not covering too much of her neck even though it's covering like you know surrounding her head y'all it looks freaking amazing this one i was like you know what Y'all know what y'all doing. <laughs> you know what you're doing. And I love the shoe choice. I love that they went with a platform extreme high heel sandal. Very, very, very good. Gives a little bit of edge because this could be matronly, if you will, but nothing about this is given matronly. I love this look so much. She did a Dolce & Gabbana um, just logo clutch. Very casual clutch, if you will. It, to me, it's a casual clutch and it's patent leather so it matches the shoes and I like that I always like like for me I like to wear jeans and a t-shirt and like a dressier handbag and they did the opposite here they did a very like you know formal type dress but a chill clutch and a chill shoe because a platform always gives just a little bit more casual and she was voted one of the best red carpet looks for the academy museum gala okay they did that 
They did that. This is perfect for a gala. Okay, perfect. Okay, now we have the Color Purple Premiere in NYC. And this look is full Sergio Hudson. And I love the fact that it's giving a suit. Sergio Hudson is known for a suit, honey. I love the fact that it's given suit yet turned into a gown, okay? Because it's the premiere. We have to show up and show out. So it's full polka dot, black and white. And I like the oversized polka dots. That's a huge trend right now. Super, super on point. And then the blazer is gorgeous. It nips her in at the waist. It has the puff shoulder detailing. Y'all, I can't say enough about this one. The gorgeous train, okay, that follows her. It's just very good. This is so good. She also brought back my curl in the front, you know, the little curl on the forehead, but she added a couple more on the side. I like that. I like that. And then also they did a sheer glove. This is so nice for the premiere. She definitely is giving I am the star of the show. I am the star of this movie, All Eyes on Me. But you know what? I still love the fact that it still gives chill, but I'm a big deal. You know what I mean? Like, mm, so good. Now, they did a little bit more accessorizing here. Um, she has on like a silver thick kind of collared necklace. And then she also has on a drop down silver earring. This is good, especially against this purple background. I can't say enough. Okay, this next look that I was really loving. Now, this is a purple look fitting for the color purple. This is Laquan Smith. You know what? I really enjoy this. Laquan's looks, I like a lot of his things. They're not made for me, but I love a lot of his things. They're just like, they give club. This here gave very regal. I love the cut of this dress. It is a nice purple dress, but it has feather detailing and it's like a Bardo style. I love this because it's giving like 1950s, 40s, kind of like silhouette in the bodice. And you can tell that it's like a nice wool material, but it's offset by the feather. So it gives it that, you know, playful, fun vibe. Very good. Very sexy on Fantasia. She looks phenomenal in this dress. And I love the fact that they styled this with a pair of hoops because again, that dress is giving kind of 1940s, but then the hoops give around the way girl, perfect like mix. I love this so much. And then the shoes um, are just a plain, barely there um, wrap around kind of sandal in purple. She looks so good right here. I love how youthful she looks. I love how sexy she looks. She just, I just love this look on her and good job Laquan Smith. Oh, now this next look y'all, is definitely a bit of me, okay? It is giving Balenciaga. I love this. It's a full red look. Blazer detail is phenomenal. It has like the double-breasted style, but it's the one button. I love that, like that crossover look. I have a black blazer like that from H&M that is killing it, and she is killing it in this red. Red has been hugely on trend for the last couple years, actually, and they pulled out the old school red knife boots. I think she has on the knife pant boot, you know, the ones that come all the way up. Very good. I love how this is given superhero, but they have definitely brought it to like a fashion place, and it doesn't look, um, it doesn't look like clownish or childish or tacky it looks so good her hair complements this look as well chef's kiss and i like the fact that this look is very edgy for fantasia fantasia usually goes you know sexy feminine in a way this is definitely giving like it girl fashion girl vibes and i like that they also did these super dark shades Yes. Yes to all the styling. <laughs> and Alexis Batar on the jewelry again. Okay, now this next look, I feel like everybody reposted on stories and it's the most chill look of them all. So she's wearing this zebra print blazer with these sharp, almost Balmain-esque um, shoulders, but it's by Anaki Official. I think that's how you pronounce the designer's name. Very good. She also just has on a Skims bodysuit underneath and some good American jeans with a really cute, barely there sandal. And though this look is so chill, it's definitely a big deal. She looks phenomenal in it. She looks like, she just looks super cool girl, very styled, but still just like no fuss. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that's the look that so many of us try to go for. Jeans and a heel and a blazer look. 
but this looks so good on her and I feel like it caught so many of our eyes. And that's another thing that I wanted to mention. I love the fact that Daniel knows how to mix the highs and the lows. That is a true stylist, okay? Not all designer from head to toe. We mix the highs and the lows. Love that. And these zebra print shoes are by Jessica Rich. I had a couple people um, asking me who these were by when I posted. So these are by Jessica Rich and they look so good. It's just like a slide in kind of you know, mule sandal, very cute. Now, speaking of highs and lows, this was another look that I feel like caught so many of our eye and attention. And this is another cream dress look, but this is definitely way more casual. She loves the draping. I feel like Daniel loves the draping and the draping loves uh, Fantasia because it looks amazing on her. Um, she has on this cream sleeveless dress where it's like a one shoulder dress. And then she has on a pair of Aldo cream boots, y'all. The boots were like $79 on Aldo. Of course, they're sold out because everybody was reposting them. I reposted them myself. Um, they're really, really, really cute. I love the fact, again, that he mixed in that high and that low. And she's also wearing a black designer on the handbag, Brandon Blackwood. We all love his bags. And I like the texture that was added with this bag because it's the shearling cream bag with the gold detailing. Very cute. And it just keeps her up to date and like very now. Very cute, very approachable, relatable, good styling. And then on the shades, she is wearing a oversized pair of square Gucci sunglasses. You guys know Gucci is so known for like that 70s overstyle look. This is so cute. She also has on just a camel coat on top because it's cold. And again, the coat adds to the look and it doesn't take away from the look. Like the look is good without the coat and with the coat. So I love this look and super easy to recreate as well. This next look is another look that I would totally rock. It's the blazer dress combo with, you know, the thigh high boots. Love that or the pants. I think it's the pants that she's been wearing. Um, so this color on her was everything okay it's like this beautiful olive green satin oversized blazer um and i believe this is by romeo hunt i love this on her it looks so silky and just sexy and you know still kind of powerful at the same time they accented this with larucci necklaces like the choker oh my goodness it almost looks like she's wearing cartier love uh bracelets all through her neck like very good because something about a Cartier stack when they're stacked like that, but shine on that gold really does give. And that's what this like choker piece is given. I don't know if it's multiple necklaces or just one, but I love that. And then she also has on the Balenciaga, uh, like I mentioned, like the pants in black. So very cute, very sexy. And she's wearing another Brandon Blackwood bag that a lot of people actually have. It looks kind of like the door knockers. It's the mini version, the black and gold. And I feel like this is another look that's like super easy to recreate. And I feel like those are the ones that really resonate with the audience most because, you know, we always love to look at like a celebrity and get inspo and be able to kind of like incorporate that into our own wardrobe. So she looks absolutely amazing here. The hair is gorgeous too. I like that they did a full bang with this look as well. Um, just layered jewelry, just gold gorgeousness okay she looks good and she looks ecstatic that she looks good <laughs> she's so cute okay y'all so this last look is not much to talk about but i had to mention it because this color on fantasia skin tone is a must okay so she's wearing like this periwinkle maxi bodycon dress it's gorgeous love the neckline on this because it's not so you know, just run of the mill plain. It's almost like a square neckline, but it has a couple different straps. I think this is, I know this is by Etox, but I don't know how to pronounce it. Etox, Etox, whatever. E-T-O-C-H-S. Um, and I love how this looks on her. And I just love this color on her skin tone. Periwinkle on dark skin. Some people say that, you know, we shouldn't do blue and stuff like that, but this blue just makes her skin tone pop. And she brought it back with the Monica Chiang shoes. Now, if anybody is a shoe girl y'all would know about these monica chiang shoes not this particular style but just that designer in general she came out with those big bow pumps that we all had to have back in the day and these monica chiangs are just a nice pair of looks like suede light blue pumps very cute so yeah i love this look on her but yeah i love this look on her because the color alone is just doing it she looks super happy vibrant gorgeous and Tasia has been killing it with the assistance of daniel hawkins and i just can't get enough this press run 
has made me so excited to see what's next for Fantasia because she's definitely elevated and I just feel like she can only go up from here. So this was the first Sunday Style Inspo. I know it was super long, but honey, we had to break it down. We had to go through all the things and I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want this to continue, make sure to leave me a comment down below letting me know what you would like for me to discuss on the next Sunday Style Inspo and we can talk about a fashion trend. We can talk about a color. We can talk about a particular celebrity style or whatever have you. Leave those in the comment section down below. Thank you guys again for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will talk to you on my next one. Bye y'all.